Hello, this is Robert Turenne. This talk is about perspective again. Uh, today we'll talk about contrast perspective. So I'll give you an example. I'll start right away. I'm using a dark pencil. This is an 8B pencil. That's about as dark as they come uh, for standard graphite pencil. And uh, I'm going to do my example by just doing uh, a couple of trees. So I'm doing uh, fir trees or pine trees or spruce, something quite common. And this is one tree, and I'm putting another tree here. So, just rough trees. And then uh, there could be some grass at the bottom of the trees there. Uh, there could be, you know, in my foreground here. And there could be a rock here. There's a dark side to that rock. And that's my foreground. And I add more branches to my trees. Okay, you get the idea. Now I'm going to switch to, uh, to a 2B pencil, which is about as light as I ever use a 2B pencil. Uh, this is a, a, a harder uh, lead that's in there. So basically what it does is that it makes paler drawing. So what I'm doing is I'm drawing in the back here, well, let me use actually something else. I'll go in my uh, pencil box here and retrieve something called, well, that's a big pencil. That's also a fairly pale pencil, but it allows me to cover quite a bit more, quite a bit more area quickly because it's, uh, it's all like it's as big as a pencil, but it's all lead. So I'm just kind of making my background here. And as I, the impression that this drawing gives is that these hills are behind those trees. And the way it's made is uh, the, the only trick that I use is that there's more contrast. It's a lot darker here for the trees and, and the front here than it is in the back. And that's called contrast perspective. This, this is also uh, using uh, aerial perspective because why do we know that, for example, a paler scene is the background? Well, the air around us is not really transparent. So I'm just kind of uh, using that because the, the thicker the layer of air, uh, the, the, the kind of the foggiest or the, the, the haze increases and it makes the background kind of look uh, less, less dark. And that's what I use for this drawing. That would apply if you, you could put a, the portrait of somebody right here in the middle and that would be your foreground. Actually with this you could do a, a middle ground and put another layer of just the kind of not as dark as the foreground but darker than the background and that would give you kind of a an impression of a more even more 3d even more perspective and that's that's a trick that's been used in, uh, in painting <coughs> painting drawing and a lot in uh, cartoon making so this was called a little lesson about uh, aerial uh, about contrast perspective with a little explanation of uh, aerial perspective hope you like it see you soon